Hello everyone, and welcome to our video. Today we'll be looking at Yasser Arafat. Yasser Arafat was the former chairman of the Palestine Liberation Organization. He was known for being the forefront of years of violence, border disputes, leading the Palestinian liberation movement, and attempted to bring peace in Palestine and Israel. He was born in Cairo, the capital of Egypt, on August 24, 1929. He was sent to live with his mother's brother in Jerusalem when his mother, bear with me, Zahwal Abdul Saud, died in 1933. Yasser spent four years in Jerusalem when he returned to Cairo to be with his father, Abdel Rauf al Quda al Hassani. Arafat never had a close relationship with his father, with Arafat not even attending his father's funeral in 1952. In Cairo, Arafat began smuggling weapons to Palestine to be used against the Jews and the British. Keep in mind that Arafat was still a teenager when he began to do this. Arafat left the University of Fahd, which was later known as Cairo University, to fight against the Jews during the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. This is the war that resulted in the establishment of the State of Israel. In 1985, Arafat founded al fata with the help of Kowal al-Wazir Salah Kaufman and Khalid Yashruti. al fata was an underground network that advocated armed resistance against Israel. By the mid-1960s, the group had gained enough popularity that Arafat became a full-time revolutionary and he began staging raids against Israel. On May 28, 1964, the founding of the Palestine Liberation Organization, or known as the PLO, brought together a number of groups working towards a free Palestinian state. Three years later, the Six-Day War erupted. In the aftermath, Arafat's Fatah gained control of the PLO when he became the chairman of the PLO Executive Committee in 1969. Arafat continued to develop the PLO. He moved operations to Jordan, leading into conflicts like Black September, where the Jordan Armed Forces fought against the PLO under the leadership of Keen Hussein, who expelled the PLO. The PLO then moved to Lebanon, and PLO-driven bombings, shootings, and assassinations against Israel were very prevalent events, both locally and regionally. One event that was most notable was the 1972 murder of Israeli athletes at the Munich Olympic Games, where the Palestinian terrorist group known as Black September took hostage of 11 Israeli Olympic team members and murdered them along with a German police officer. 1988 made way for Arafat and the PLO when Arafat gave a speech at the United Nations declaring that all involved parties could live in peace. This led to the Oslo Accords of 1993, which called for Palestinian self-rule and elections in Palestinian territory. In 1993, Yasir Arafat, Israeli Shimon Peres, and Yitzhak Rabin all received Nobel Peace Prizes, and the following year they signed a new agreement, Oslo II. Oslo II was the foundation for a series of peace treaties between the PLO and the Israeli. On October 2004, Arafat fell ill with flu-like symptoms and was only getting worse. He was transported to Paris, France for medical treatment where he died the following month on November 11. Though many people believe that he died of natural causes, conspiracy theories have risen since his death, claiming that he could have been murdered, with Sahal Arafat, Arafat's widow, supporting the findings in media interviews as proof of Arafat's murder. However, we might not know for sure. This video is brought to you by Wesley Tweedell. Uh, doesn't have a slogan, but you know. Also, uh, I'd like to give special thanks to Hope for helping me gather this information. Couldn't have done it without her. Thank you.